Hey peeps out there in YouTube land, uh, I know I've been meaning to do this video, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick little, um, I guess, viewing of an alternate head on a 44 centimeter action doll Dana. Um, they did make it to where you could essentially switch out heads, but let me go ahead and show you kind of like the aftermath or like what kind of comes into play when you do switch heads because the Dana hand and other dolls they have different neck circumferences so you would actually really have to take in consideration what the circumference is of her neck versus another doll from a different company so right now she is actually wearing a doll zone MSD head um it's ooh and I can't even remember it right now but um <clears throat> it was able to be put on and I mean you'll see there's there's difference in tonation of the uh, of the resin you can see that there's different skin like coloration on it but if you did I think the thing that you would have to do um, and that I would highly recommend if you're gonna switch out the heads on these or if you're gonna put any heads on on these types of dolls since you're working with ABS which is like a plastic and resin which is kind of like a, a more upgraded plasticky you know material almost porcelain like I guess you could say um you would definitely have to suede the head um underneath this neck hole right here you would actually have to suede it with hot glue or something or however you want to suede it because right now since they're two different materials that are next to each other I mean it stays and it's it's on there but like it's it's very smooth um, I would add just a little bit of traction to it. That's just me. You may like it like this. I mean, she's not to where, like, it's, it's really, like, very loose or anything like that. But, I mean, you can definitely tell that they're two different materials that are, that are connected together. So, I mean, if you want to take a look, too, um, it comes to about here. So, I mean, she's a girl, so it does give her a longer, slender neck, depending on what head, uh, you use in there. The original head that was in her was, I mean, was the, is the Dana head, and it's fit towards this neck. So that's what I'm saying. I mean, it's possible to switch out heads if you want, or if you do have a floating MSD head that you want to stick onto this body. You just need to make sure that um, the neck piece on the Dana will fit the uh, hole inside of the head that you may have. So, like I said, um, this is just a little experiment that I wanted to show you all that, I mean, it is possible to put on other... Um, heads onto these bodies if you want to do that um, just gotta keep in mind that the resin color and uh, the color on the body of Dana it may uh, not match all the way and uh, here's the body if you want to see the body of um, the doll zone I don't know if you can really tell in person you can tell I mean you can see that, that it's slightly a different like the Dana body looks slightly a little bit darker than normal resin is, but I mean, it's not like that incredibly noticeable. Those are just a couple things that you would have to keep in mind if you ever did want to switch out the bodies. Okay, so here is an S hook inside of the Dana head. This, the, there's a huge, huge, like a bajillion red flags you have to be careful though if you're going to put an S hook in here. One of them being is that the grooves that are in there are not made to support it on the sides, the S-hook on the sides. There's no grooves for it to kind of lock into place there. So this is kind of moving freely. And if on the off chance that this S-hook goes vertically, uh, your S-hook is going to, you know, essentially separate itself from the head. Your strings won't go flying everywhere because it'll be still stuck to the S-hook, but... Uh, you may have to make some type of modifications if you really do want an S-hook inside of here. But, I mean, it's definitely possible to have an S-hook in here. But, like, even me moving around like this, as you can see, it's already starting to shift inside of the head. So, you'd have to figure out something in that aspect to kind of, like, keep it in place. Because if not, you do run the risk of your S-hook kind of jumping out of the head. Um, so... I would recommend that you find something, or if you really do want an S-hook in here, try to modify something so you can go ahead and uh, have it stuck inside of the head securely versus it kind of freely roaming at the top. Yep, and um, that's my little experiment to you all on uh, swapping out heads on the Dana bodies. I hope this helped people that were curious about switching out heads. Like I said, the main thing that you just have to keep in mind is the circumference of the neck. 
compared to this body to the other body that you would be trying to switch out so the heads could hopefully fit onto the body um, because if the circumference of the neck is smaller it may not fit on this body um, and vice versa if it's too big it may not fit so um, check those out if you are really um, interested in doing that and switching ahead um, and as far as the S hook issue goes I'm gonna still look into seeing what I could do because it would make life a lot easier to have an S hook inside of her head but it just the way it's built right now it just does not have a way of supporting it so if I figure something out I'll let you guys know I hope this helped you guys out and have an awesome day. Kumi and I will see you later. Bye.